today, our heroes embark on a challenge unlike any other. As Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we must venture into the realm of Fortnite to retrieve our most powerful weapons. Donatello's Staff Raphael's Size Michelangelo's Nunchucks and Leonardo's Swords Firstly, our Ninja Turtles must visit Master Splinter in the sewer hideout before heading off on their quest. Let's follow the action and see if the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can claim victory. Leonardo glides down on his trusty turtle colored glider. Here we can see that Donatello has dropped short and will have to hurry up to make it to the sewers before his brothers leave. Donnie uses his masterful tech skills and transforms a car into a speed machine. Michelangelo, the master skater himself, is first to jump into the sewer. The next turtle down the hatch is Leonardo, while Raphael does his own thing, which is typical Raph. Donnie is the third turtle to enter the sewer to visit Master Splinter, which only leaves Raph to complete the quest of entering the sewer. We all know that turtles love pizza, so Leonardo throws down a pizza party for everyone to enjoy. But Leonardo knows that putting the pizza in the flowing mutagen will really give his brothers the energy boost they need. While the three turtles loot up in the underground train station and have a chat with Jonesy, Raph empties out the factory up above. Here we see Leonardo and Raphael decide to try out the stealth cloaking switches which Donatello gave them. Upon hearing from Leo that the stealth switches actually work, Donatello tries it out on himself. Finally, Raph heads down to the sewer to visit Master Splinter and pay his respect. The turtles do a quick map check to see where they need to go to find their mythic weapons, and this is where the real fun begins. Off go our heroes in all different directions. Who will be the first one to retrieve their mythic? Will it be Leo, Donnie, Mikey or Raph? You will have to keep watching to find out. Here we can see that Michelangelo has found his mythic nunchuck. Now he proceeds to meet up and follow Leonardo as he drives at pace towards his own mythic drop. Our fearless leader Leonardo is next to find his mythic weapon and we know he won't hesitate to use it to defend himself or his brothers. Leo and Mike decide to meet up with Donatello as he is closer than Raphael, plus with Raph's confidence he will just be fine by himself. While the other turtles proceed to use cars, Raph finds a hoverboard and decides he needs to practice his board skills while traveling towards his mythic size. Maybe this move pays off as he reaches his weapons just before Donnie. On the way to meet Donnie, Leonardo and Michelangelo find some players to test their ninja warrior skills and really put their mythic weapons to the test. Suddenly, there is a call for our help from Donatello as he is ambushed at his mythic supply drop and Donnie is soon sent to another realm by another squad. The only hope for our turtle team to win this challenge now is to reboot Donatello, retrieve his staff, meet up as a team and eliminate the remaining adversaries. While Mikey and Leo team up to collect Donnie's reboot card. Raphael heads towards a reboot van to help Donnie return from the other dimension. The remaining turtles believe that if Donatello is eliminated again, he will not be able to return to this dimension. He will be sent straight to the dimension called the Lobby. the Lobby. We all know that as brothers, they are an amazing team, and this is why Raph can reboot Donnie while Mikey and Leo are still on the move. Michelangelo and Leonardo run into some trouble and Mikey dips, leaving Leo to battle it out bravely, but our fearless leader loses his battle and is sent to the other dimension. Can our remaining turtles reboot Leonardo and bring him back to finish this quest, like they did with Donatello? Will Leo get his mythic weapons back? If Leo cannot retrieve his weapons, but they win the game, do they fail the challenge? Keep watching to find out the answers to these questions. Meanwhile, Donatello is struggling with the effects of being on the other side, having a hallucination of Raph walking straight through the vault wall. Donatello must have been questioning himself as to how Raph could do this. Was he using a Donny invention? As it turns out, Donatello was just suffering lag, which is a common side effect of being on the other side. 
Michelangelo, on the other hand, had been working his shell off to go and rescue Leo and had succeeded not only in collecting the reboot card, but he also used the reboot van to bring back Leo. With his feet back on the ground, Leo praises his brothers for their effort, then proceeds to tell them to meet up at another location. It is at this new location Leo would be able to collect more mythic swords and that means the quest to collect them all and win was still possible. The band of Turtle Brothers can still hear Splinter's words ringing in their ears. Unity is your greatest strength. Against all the odds and a bit of help from Ralph, Leo makes it to his mythic swords and knows that victory is within their grasp. But some of the Turtles' adversaries had another idea and challenged them at the meeting point. Being left to his own devices, Leo finds himself in trouble again. Raph being Raph had gone off to do the solo thing. Leo was once again face to face with the same John Wick who sent him to the other dimension. Is this the end for Leo? The Turtles believe that you cannot be brought back twice. Mourning the loss of their brother, the remaining trio fought bravely. Raph got knocked but Donnie provided some long distance cover while Mikey pursued the other team who eliminated Leo, Donnie came to rescue Raph and helped to resuscitate him back to health. Regrouping once again, the three brothers decided to give rebooting Leonardo a chance. Even when they met some resistance, they didn't give up. To their amazement, Leo emerged from the other dimension one more time. Now, this turtle has more lives than a cat. Finally, as a united team, the four brothers head off to find the advantage in the landscape. They knew that this battle was coming to a close and that there could only be one victor. While Leo was suffering from a bit of interdimensional sickness and did his best to catch up to his brothers, Mikey, Donnie and Raph engaged into a fight with some other players. These three ninjas proved too much for this player's feeble skills. This challenge proved to be the start of the end. Suddenly, they could hear the sounds of more enemies rifting and decided to head to the safe zone to take cover. But Donnie decided it was time to eat pizza. Normally, this is the type of thing Mikey would do. But Donnie had never really recovered from being rebooted and his new team pounced on him and sent him back to the lobby. This last remaining team were now hungry for victory, but this lust for power could be their downfall. Raphael, Mikey and Leonardo had to work together and they knew that Splinter had trained them well. Avenging Donatello was then the only acceptable outcome. Suddenly, Leonardo dashed forwards to split the team's focus. When Raph disposed of the team's turret, both he and Mikey went full ninja. This win did come at a cost and sadly, Donatello didn't make it. But he will always be remembered. And that is how the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles succeeded in the every mythic challenge.